quite a few celebrities that you know and love have a background in playing hockey, or have quite serious interest in learning. From singers to actors who've had great careers to athletes in other sports, hockey is in the blood of many. Now let's get to it talking about some celebrities who are known for playing. First up is superstar singer and pop star Justin Bieber. He's a Canadian, born in London, Ontario, growing up in Stratford, the town of NHL legend Howie Morenz. Bieber grew up playing hockey and at one point dreamed of being an NHL hockey player. Unfortunately for Bieber, he's a little bit small and a little bit weak, so hockey just wasn't it for him. But he did show that he also is quite a speedy and powerful skater. He also hangs around with some pretty good NHL players. He's a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. And of course, he's become buddies with Toronto legends like Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. From the diminutive Bieber, we go to JJ Watt, who was 6 foot 5 and was one of the greatest offensive linemen in NFL history. His career was with the Houston Texans and the Arizona Cardinals. The Houston Texans select JJ Watt, defensive end, Wisconsin. 2012 AP Defensive Player of the Year. At a playing weight of nearly 290 pounds. Well, Watt, who is from Wisconsin, also played hockey from the ages of 3 to 13. While we can only imagine what Watt would have looked like on the ice with his NFL playing weight, the now retired and obviously slimmed down Watt recently took to the ice to show he still got a few moves from his youth. Watt has also been back on the ice a few other times in recent years, and he can definitely shoot the puck. Even heads of state have played hockey. Russian President Vladimir Putin, for instance, took up the game a little bit later in life, but is quite enthusiastic in pursuit of the sport, even though he does not appear smooth or skilled on the ice. He looked okay in this exhibition contest, but you also gotta consider that the players on the other team may not have been that motivated to show that they are far better than Putin. Meanwhile, actor Steve Carell brings his comedic chops to the crease to set up yet another office but this time as a goaltender in this hilarious video. He stole Wayne Gretzky's office and put it in the net. Carell actually does have a background as a goaltender. Before portraying Michael Scott, he kicked out pucks for Ohio Denesian University, a Division III club team in the American College Hockey Association in the early 80s. Carell had played hockey growing up in Boston and was a huge Boston Bruins fan. As a squirt player, which is ages 9 and 10, Carell's team even won a national championship. A number of the Office episodes actually featured some hockey connection or scenes where Carell portrayed Scott, which gave him the opportunity to show off some of his on-ice prowess. Another goaltender turned actor is Keanu Reeves. The star of The Matrix and John Wick grew up in Canada and played in college. Of course, that means that there was no bending all the way backwards to avoid pucks all the way. In the early 80s, Reeves even earned a tryout with the Windsor Spitfires of the OHL. Started playing street hockey and then ice hockey and then played a lot of hockey. I played a net as goaltender. And of course, the OHL is one of the circuits where future NHL players are drafted. Reeves even portrayed a hockey player from one of his earliest movie roles. He had a small role in Youngblood, a 1986 release about a Canadian junior hockey player, which starred Rob Lau and Patrick Swayze. Also, as a 20-year-old, Reeves had moved to Los Angeles to begin his acting career. He played in a weekend street hockey game with guys he met at a gas station for 10 years. Not only is Wyatt Russell a second generation actor as the son of Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, but he was also a pretty good hockey player. Wyatt, who has made a name for himself by playing as Captain America and the US agent in the Disney Marvel Plus series, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier not only grew up playing the game, but he also played junior and college hockey, as well as playing pro hockey in Europe. Another goalie. Wyatt Russell played in the British Columbia Junior Hockey League, the United States Hockey League, and the Ontario Provincial Junior Hockey League. At the NCAA Division I level with the University of Alabama Huntsville and in Germany and the Netherlands. 
Taylor Kitsch also played junior hockey. The Friday Night Lights star and model who was born in Kelowna, British Columbia. Playing all these different celebrity games, who's the one celebrity who surprised you who was an excellent player? Was a forward who played for the Alberta Junior Hockey League, Manitoba Junior Hockey League, Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League, and of course the BC Junior Hockey League. And of course, most of this time was with the Langley Hornets during the 2001-2002 season. He had 7 goals and 23 points in 36 games before unfortunately having a knee injury that ruined his season and career. So, he decided to go be a model and a soccer player. A surprising celebrity who played hockey is Paris Hilton. The Hotel Heuris played a season with the prep school team at the Canterbury School in Connecticut in 1998. But, apparently, she was not that good. According to a former teammate, Hilton did not even know what position she was playing, adding, she would always move around. There's even word that she was not a good skater. So when she said, that's hot, that's hot. That's hot. her catchphrase years ago, Hilton was definitely not talking about her hockey ability. But, it's not a surprise that a man who regularly risks his life has a background as a hockey player. It turns out that the legendary 1960s and 1970s motorcycle daredevil, Evil Knievel, also played the game. Before making over 75 stunt jumps in which he soared over everything from lined up cars to Idaho Snake River Canyon, Knievel played minor hockey with the Charlotte Checkers of the old Eastern Hockey League until he refused to ride the team bus and quit, according to a 1959 newspaper article. Knievel then returned to his hometown of Butte, Montana and founded a semi-pro hockey team called the Butte Bombers in 1959. And somehow, Knievel convinced the Czechoslovakian national hockey team that was on tour in the United States that year to travel to Butte and play the Bombers. The Bombers got bombed, 22 to 3, and Knievel didn't even have enough money to pay the Czech delegation. Tom Glavine is known for being one of the greatest pitchers in baseball history and one of the last hurlers to win 300 games. He won 305 in his 22 season career with the Atlanta Braves and New York Mets. But before all that, Glavine also played hockey and played it pretty well. Well enough in fact to be drafted by the LA Kings in the 1984 draft. The Kings selected Glavine in the 4th round with the 69th overall pick in the NHL draft and the Atlanta Braves in the MLB draft. <laughs> as a center, Glavine had played three years for the Billerica High School in Massachusetts. And as a senior, he had 47 goals and 94 points in only 23 games. That impressed the Kings and pretty much the whole league so much that their general manager, Rogi Vachon, who at that point had been the greatest goaltender in franchise history, so much that they took Levine before they drafted future Hall of Fame left wing, Luke Robitaille, who would go on to score 668 career goals. But Los Angeles and Vachon did not select Robichaud until the ninth round with the 171st pick. Levine was also drafted by another prolific scorer, Brett Hull. He scored 741 career goals, but in 1984, the Calgary Flames did not call Hull's name until the 6th round, with a 117th overall pick. That means Levine was drafted before two Hall of Famers who were combined for a total of 1,409 career goals. Another connection between Robitaille and Hull was that they were both members of the Detroit Red Wings, the team that won the Stanley Cup in 2002. Now do you believe that Dave Coulier was also a hockey star? The full and fuller house star. I give to you the Gladstone Gallery of Wacky Weapons. <laughs> was a comedian who played hockey at Harper Woods High School in the suburbs of Detroit and even continued to play the game recreationally when he moved to LA to begin his acting career. Coulier has also participated in many celebrity charity hockey games over the years, including so many that involved the Detroit Red Wings alumni team. Michael Buble is another singer who has become an international superstar. But growing up in Burnaby, British Columbia, he played hockey and loved it. Buble even said, I wanted to be a hockey player so bad. And of course, he was through the moons a Vancouver Canucks fan. Ew. And here, 
he has the opportunity to skate with the Canucks during a practice. A dream come true for somebody who has probably had the majority of their dreams come true already. And like many Canadians, Michael J. Fox loved hockey growing up and dreamed of playing in the NHL as a youngster. He scored three goals in this benefit exhibition game in the 1980s and even drew a rave review from the United States Olympic hockey hero Mike Eruzion. Fox was born in Edmonton, Alberta, EW, and lived on several army bases before his family settled in British Columbia. And we all remember the 1996 movie, my personal favorite, Happy Gilmore, starring Adam Sandler as a failed hockey player who is a goon and couldn't skate or handle the puck. But, but he did have an unbelievable slap shot that allowed him to become a great golfer. Remember this scene? So there you have it. Celebrities playing hockey. Who was your favorite? Who did we miss? Leave a comment below and click here to watch the most useless player from all 32 NHL teams. If you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow. And see you next time.